Hello friends, today I am going to show you Checkpoint R80.10 SMS installation on ESXi 6.5 Okay, so as per this checkpoint uh, table uh, you can see we can install R70, uh, R80.10 on VMware vSphere 6.5 Okay but on this 6.5 we can only not install r77.20 okay but there is no issue with r80.10 okay so first of all you should have ios file of r80.10 so let me check here in this my storage i have r80.10 ios file okay guys so now let's start the installation just right click here create new virtual machine okay create new virtual machine next ok now let me set the name sms smart management server or 80.10 ok next next now here we have to select the storage if you have multiple hard disks so you can select the storage from here next now here suppose that we are going to install r77.20 okay as per this chart you can see we cannot install r77.20 on 6.5 so you should have select uh, vmware vsphere 6 and maybe 5.5 .5. so you can change that thing from here okay but uh, we are going to install r80.10 so we can install this uh, on this next okay now from here you have to set the base operating system linux red hat linux let me select r um, red hat linux 564 bit next now here we have to customize our hardware let me select CPU2, let me set 8GB RAM and let me set hard disk 50GB ok this one is NIC card on this NIC card you want to link which one via VLAN so our management is uh, configured on RDP VLAN ok so next task we have to add that uh, iOS file from our database ios file new volume when ios files checkpoint r80.10 ok and now let me connect ok everything is configured here next and now this one is uh, all the detail of our hardware so once go through this virtual machine name smsr80.10 folder esxi 40 ok host name is this new volume cpu2 memory 8 nic card 1 uh, linked with the rdp vlan ok so capacity 50 gb it's ok and finish okay so it will be take one or two minute now you can see our uh, sms installation complete so sorry our hard, uh, hardware is ready for our sms installation now we have to power on this sms r80 power on power on complete now you have to click on this web launch web console now from here you have to select this install Gaia on this system It will be take a uh, few minutes.
ओके गाइस नाउ दिस वन इज वेलकम वेलकम विजार्ट यू हैव टू क्लिक ऑन ओके ओके एज यू कैन सी हियर वी कैन नॉट कंट्रोल दिस टैब विद द हेल्प ऑफ माउस सो वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट ओनली टैब एंड कीबोर्ड ओके सो नाउ गाइस जस्ट रिमेंबर वन थिंग व्हेन एवर यू आर गोइंग टू एलोकेट दिस स्टोरेज स्पेस सो जस्ट रिमेंबर वन थिंग जस्ट गिव लिटिल बिट हाई वॉल्यूम फॉर द लॉक अदरवाइज यू विल बी फेस स्टोरेज इशू ओके एंड फॉर बैकअप एंड अपग्रेडेशन यू हैव टू गिव आल्सो हाई स्पेस एज पर द अदर पार्टीशन ओके we have to go okay now this one is the your admin account password so you can set uh, whatever password you want to set here okay now here you have to set the management interface ip address With the help of which IP address you want to manage this fifty dot twenty dot twenty dot thirty one. Okay, gateway is not required because we are managing everything from same network. Okay. Okay, guys. Now it will be take a few minute after complete this process. Okay, we will set how we can define this system as a smart management. server this time we are just installing gaia operating system after that on gaia operating system we have to define you want to make this system as a smart management server or as a gateway so that thing we can set with the help of a uh, web console okay so it will be take time after complete this process i will be back Okay, guys. So Gaia in uh, Gaia operating system installation process is complete, and I have logged in with uh, with the console, uh, username and password. So now we have to check the IP address of our management interface. For that, we have to use command show interface etx zero. Okay. So as you can see, the IP address of our uh, management interface is fifty dot twenty dot. Twenty dot thirty one, okay. So guys, now next we have to access this SMS from my management PC. So this one is my management PC. So first of all, let me check the connectivity. We are able to communicate from our uh, management PC to this uh, SMS carrier, SMS or not? Ping fifty dot twenty dot twenty dot thirty one. okay so you can see we are able to communicate so next thing let me open one browser okay here http is colon double slash from uh, 50.20.20.31 so it's one not 150 50 only <coughs> Okay, in advanced step, add exception. Okay, now we have to enter username and password. Basically, this one is the username and password of your Gaia operating system. Login. Okay, let me set this. Okay, admin ASD. Okay, guys. So uh, this one is not showing here. Let me open Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer. This. And here I have to change one more thing. Ask me later. 
Administrate Internet Option Advanced Step Here you have to allow SSL and PLS version SSL version 3.0 Ok, Apply HTTPS colon dot slash 50.20.20.31 and enter password login would you like to say password yes Okay, so you can see this R80.10 first time configuration wizard. Okay, welcome wizard. Next, okay, continue with R80.10 configuration. Next, okay, here uh, we have to select on which one interface you want to configure IP address, and even you can change the IP address of this interface. Next, now here you have to set the name. SMS or sorry, let me set name SMS zero one. Okay, uh, DNS name is uh, let me set DNS name. I have my in one internal DNS. Okay, that's in different network. Let me use default DNS. Okay, leave this primary set. So this one is domain name. So let me set esxi rack.com. My primary one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot triple one dot fifty one. Primary DNS secondary is four dot two dot two dot two. Four dot two dot two. Next. <coughs> Uh, you can set the time zone also. Okay, New York. New York, you set time zone. Canada. Okay, leave this as it is New York because it's not showing my local time here or local time option and I didn't remember exact time zone for that. Next, otherwise you can select also NTP server. Next. Okay guys, now from here you have to select do you want to deploy this device as a security gateway or security management server or multi-domain server. But as I have told you, we have to deploy this one device as a security manager management. Okay, so this one we first of all we should install as a security management server. Okay, and as you know this one is our here we have three options primary, secondary and log server. So this one we have to select as a primary. Okay, no need to download automatically. Next. Yes. Oh, I think by mistake I have select that one as a secondary. Yeah. If you uh, deploy this device as a secondary management server in that case you have to configure here sick key okay as you can see here 
but if you are going to deploy this device as a primary in that case you are not getting any C key option here you can see yep. now we are getting to create a different new admin account this admin account is used for login from your smart console but here we have two options do you want to use a Gaia administrator account or you want to create different so you can you have both option but right now let me go through the uh, Gaia administrator account next okay and guys next option is client uh, gui client can log in into security management from which ip address you can specify your ip address and you can specify your network okay either you can select any either any ip address let me select network here uh, my management network is 50.20.20.0 255.255.2 okay next and let me finish okay okay guys so it will be take 5 to 10 minutes I will be back after uh, complete this process okay guys so you can see uh, Confusion completed successful. Okay. Now we are getting smart management server web, con web console here. Okay. And now we can download smart console from here. Just click on download. let me cancel one okay so guys this one is how to configure your uh, smart management server on ESXi server okay in the next video I will show you how to configure smart gateway and how to install smart console till that take care bye